Hello, I'm Dr. Gregory Davis, gynecologist in Chico, California. Thank you for joining me today. What we're going to talk about is some of the reasons that you can start to develop low thyroid. We talked in a previous video about thyroid function testing and about the symptoms, but we're going to talk today about what can cause your thyroid to slow down. So one of the first things we look at is obviously it's going to be age related. If we look at women that get to be 55 or older, it's going to be about 3% per year. So age, especially uh, greater than 55, is going to be about 3% per year. So that's why we usually check the thyroid function testing every year on those ladies. One of the other causes, unfortunately, is going to be thyroid cancer. Now thyroid cancer, the good news is, is that most patients with thyroid cancer do really well and I would say their, the cure rate is extremely high. Now, it may require you to have part of your thyroid removed, all of your thyroid removed, or you may actually need to have some radiation therapy, but the end result is your thyroid function is going to decrease and you're going to become low thyroid. The other is something called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. And that is where your own antibodies, for some reason, are attacking your thyroid gland. Now, the strange thing is you're, you're doing normal and then all of a sudden your, your antibodies get amped up and then your thyroid function goes down, then it comes back up and it goes down. So it's a very, very disconcerting because your life is kind of bouncing up and down. So that can really make you have a lot of symptoms. The other is going to be hormones. Now, we're going to talk about that. So when we talk about hormones, let's put it into perspective. Your thyroid gland is kind of your master gland. And so it's sitting up here and it's regulating what? It's regulating your ovaries, your adrenals. So you've got two ovaries. So I'm going to draw those here. Now, what's the most important thing related to your thyroid from your ovaries? And it's going to be estrogen. So your ovaries are both making estrogen. Well, here's the other thing that's interesting is that if we look at your kidneys, now I'm not a very good artist, but you'll have to bear with me here. So here's a kidney and you have this little pyramid on the top, which is your adrenal gland. And so you've got a kidney on the other side. Now, your adrenal glands make some steroids, and I'm just going to make an S for that so you don't have to worry about that. But what's the other thing your adrenal glands make? They make adrenaline. So now we all know what adrenaline does. But did you know that your estrogen is the main thing that regulates how much adrenaline you release for a given situation? Small stress, small amount of adrenaline, large stress, large amount of adrenaline. So your adrenal gland is definitely related to your estrogen function. So what happens is that when your estrogen levels start to drop, now we talked about that, and I have a YouTube video on PMS, postpartum depression, also on hormone therapy, and we talk about things that can lower your estrogen. So when your estrogen level starts to go down, guess what happens? Your adrenal gland loses control. There's, so there's, when you get a stress, it may be like, where's my phone, where's my, my watch? All of a sudden, you get this huge release of adrenaline. So you get inappropriate amounts of adrenaline. So your heart rate's up, your blood pressure's up, you feel like you're getting a panic attack. So your adrenal gland then starts to kind of go a little bit haywire. Well, now your thyroid is regulating your ovaries, and your thyroid's regulating your adrenal glands. So now all of a sudden, guess what? Your adrenal glands have kind of gone off the rails. Your estrogen production is starting to drop. So now your thyroid's trying to crank it up and to get things back to normal. And it can't do that. So that's going to trigger your thyroid function to start to drop. So if we can get back to the source of the problem, when you have hormones such as estrogen, we can raise your estrogen levels now all of a sudden you're starting to feel better because your estrogen levels back up. Now your adrenal glands are back online and they're working well. Well now your thyroid can kind of downregulate work function and be normal. Now you're going to start to feel better. 
So I hope that this explains for you the interaction between your thyroid, your adrenal glands, and your ovaries and estrogen. Thank you for watching. <laughs>